Spider-Man. Spidey fans, get ready for an epic Spider-Man video. Spidey Bruce, just before I get into this video, I just want to say I am... Um, after, during my er editing of this video, um, I actually realised I was actually sort of wrong about what I was talking about, because I actually, I actually forgot that the game also, um, after the main story, after the last shot of Dr. Do Otto Octavius, Doc Ock, um, the game actually skipped three months after November, so technically I could be wrong about what I said in this video, but... It could also be the same thing, but just the following year. Comment below what you think. Hi, Spidey Bros. It's your friendly neighbourhood, the old one. Spider-Man fan here. Now, this isn't a vlog. Uh, this is a video I'm putting separate. I actually was speaking about this in my last vlog. My vlog 33. About my... Now, this is a wee fan theory um, video on Insomniac's Marvel Spider-Man 2 for PS5. <sighs> now, in a wee way, right, it's, con it's connected... There's a lot of things to say here. It's connected. Uh, what I'm gonna do is connected. To, uh, what I'm gonna say is connected to the first game, but then it's connected to the leaks as well. Right. First of all, basically, as you all know, the target for Marvel Spider-Man Two release date is Christmas 2021. Now, I, back to the first game. I hope I say this right. Back to the first game, basically. That game. Now, I watched a heck of a lot, a lot of the interviews, and um, in one interview. Brian Entahar said that the game takes place over the course of a few weeks, but a few weeks between October and November. Now, as we all know, right? Like the game, right? Basically, the, the game came out in September, basically a month before Halloween. There was a Halloween mission out. Now. Now, this is actually about the second one here, right? The, right, the release, the release, uh, bleh, the release date target for Mar Marvel Spider-Man 2 is um, basically more or less winter 2021. Christmas 2021. Now, the way that it said that there, a portion of the, the poor, because uh, I actually was reading that again, apparently the um the game itself will take place over a, over a course of the winter time, not just one part of it, but... This is possibly going to be a Spider-Man Christmas game. And that's not a joke from what I've actually read. Because, like, I, I, I actually reread re -read that sentence a few times and worked out what they meant. Basically, the way that the first one took place over, over the course of October and November, this game's going to take place over Christmas time. Which means we might get some snow. Snowy weather. Now, here's a wee thing. Now, this is a wee fan theory here. And so we, it's a wee bit of a heartbreaking one, too. As you would have known, Spider-Man PS4, the ending of that, basically, like, right, basically, first of all, right, um, I'm going to have to change the subject here for a second, right, Christmas, for one thing, right, that's a time for friends and family to get together and celebrate it. Basically, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, lost, like, Aunt May's death, right, in Spider-Man PS4. Peter, basically, the game, right, the, the course of the game took place over October and November, right? Basically, if you really think about it this way, maybe a lot of you did, but I've only just worked it out from what, like, that. this is why I say the leaks are possibly true because of where the first game left off with Silver Lionel. All right, there was like, like I'll come to, I'll come to these in a minute, I guess I forget what I'm going to say. Basically, Peter, Peter Spiderman uh, lost his Aunt May, basically, in November time. Now, November is clearly before Christmas. In this new game, it's taking place on Christmas. Like, around Christmas time. Basically, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, lost his Aunt May just before Christmas, if you really think about it. Because, like, this new game is, like, in a wee way, right? This game might be emotional for Peter too. Like, I would love it if Insomniac did add this method in. Where maybe there was a f there's a few sequences of this new Spider-Man Two game, where Peter has a few breakdowns thinking about his Aunt May and possible possibly his Uncle Ben too, because like he's lost both of them. Basically, like Aunt May died at the end of the main story of Spider-Man One on PS4, but after thinking about the timeline of it, he lost her in November. A month before Christmas, basically, he lost his aunt, uh, his aunt May, aka his mom, 
as I call her, because she did, she did raise them, just like my nanny and papa raised me. I know it's a game, but think about it. Basically, Peter lost his mom, his Aunt May, just before, ju in November, just before Christmas. And, now, I will say that basically, alright, like, before the DLCs, you do have Spider-Man Velocity, which took place, I'm going to say a few days, I, 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 like, I forget, but over a day or two, the Velo the Velocity series took place, because I can't say City at War, because that's actually the main game. Basically, so, Spider-Man Velocity, and spider getting which, which I'm still waiting on the last issue for. Spider-Man Velocity and spider getting all take place before the DLCs. So, in a way, that'll be a long period of time, right? Velocity takes place a few, right? Spider-Man Velocity takes place over the period, the course of a few days, I think, from what I read. spider getting I'm actually not too sure. I think that took place over the course of a day or two. I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to still read them again. And again, I'll be I'll be doing a review on those at one point too. Spy Boosters, stay tuned for that. But that'll be separate from my videos, just like this is. Basically, the first game, like in right, still right. Let's see, right. That probably would have taken up to halfway through November, cause like the main story finished in November, and then we've got Velocity plus Spider again, and then the DLC. So I think in a way that all of those, oh, I honestly do believe that the the entire the entire storyline of Spider Man PS4 with the main story, Velocity, Spider again, and the DLCs ending with Silver Lining. I do believe that all of those would have probably led up to either halfway through November or else just at the start of December in the storyline. That's why I'm saying, if you really think about it this way, Peter Parker's Spider-Man lost his aunt right before Christmas. So basically, in this new game, it might be a bit, like, it's, I actually would love it if Insomniac added this detail in where maybe during this new game, Peter had maybe a few wee breakdowns missing his aunt, maybe. Because he's just lost her, if you think about it. Because, like, this will be right after the tragic loss of his Aunt May. So, in a way, well, I, I actually would love it if they added a myth then. Where, it's, basically, it's his first, it'll be his first Christmas without his Aunt May. And basically, he'll, he'll be struggling. He'll, he'll possibly be struggling a wee bit to maybe hold it together or cope. For the first of Christmas with Sorry Is That May, if you really think about it that way. Because, like, I know that I watched a lot of the interviews. I can't even believe I didn't put my finger on this. Some of you are probably watching this saying, and you're only realising that now, oh, not Spider Man fan. Yeah. It was only because of the fact, it was, this is only because of all leaked information, which I do believe is real, because of where the first game left off, plus what the web says is going to take, a, take place over over a course of the winter time so this this new game is not going to be set two years the timeline is not going to be set two years after the after where the first one left off it's clearly going to continue on basically like not a few years like like Spider-Man 1 2002 sorry I'm going back to this sorry but Spider-Man 4 Spider-Man 4 sorry Spider-Man 2 took place uh, two years after the first movie not too sure about the uh, I forget about the third one, but this game, th th this new game is gonna basically continue. Maybe if, maybe all right. Maybe maybe Insomniac might add a few weeks more into the into the game storyline where it might take place a few weeks after the first game. But I really cannot see them doing that. But this video is basically a fan theory that basically basically if you think about it, it's even more heartbreaking if you think of it that way. Peter Sparman. His aunt May, his aunt May slash mom died right before Christmas in November, possibly the start of November. So that's what I wanted to say to you. So I'm sorry I went into a full storyline there, but this is just the way I see it, my point of view. But basically, I really do like. I actually would. I actually would love it if Insomniac acted at that detail and were us were what were. were th I actually would love it if they had a sequence in the game where Peter was possibly struggling a wee bit missing like missing his aunt man uncle ben since it's christmas time christmas is a time for friends and family but peter's just peter's just lost his aunt may so uh, more likely there'll be nothing to celebrate if you get what i mean but 
guess that actually just wrap things up. But yeah, all I can say is I do think the leaks are real, especially from where the first game left off. Except, well, right, where the first game left off, then you have Spider-Man Velocity, which takes place over a few days. Spider-Man, not too sure about that. Might have to look at that again. And then you've got the DLCs, which possibly do take place over the course of a few weeks. So this new game is definitely going to be set in December. Trust me. It's definitely going to be set in December. And heck, like, in, in Marvel Spider-Man Velocity, Peter actually even brings up, uh, brings up Aunt May talking to the speedster, Holly Harvey. He, he even talks about Aunt May during one of the ending conversations whether to try to calm her down from all the weeds that's building up in her the way she's burning herself out. But, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I needed to say that bit, but still, if you get what I mean. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, Spy Bruce. So comment below what you think of my theory. And, um, what, uh, well, yeah, what do you think of my theory? And, um, yeah, I guess I'll just see you all in my next vlog. Which I'll probably, I might film the intro after this, to be honest with you. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Again, comment below what you think of my theory. And, as usual, I'll see you all in as always, and all of my next epic spy videos. It's your friendly neighbourhood, Spider Cop! Over and out. Flip, 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 does whatever a spider can, spins a web any size, catches feet just like flies, look out, here comes the Spider-Man.